<laughs> this thing is built right here. Dude, imagine. Dude, this ain't even camping at this point. What this is, is living, man. You're talking about mansion. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to continue working on our apocalypse rig here. And as you've seen in the previous video, we started building our living area. And today we're going to continue doing that. But before we do so, we actually want to run to a couple camper and RV stores just to get some more ideas, as you guys mentioned. So let's just go ahead, drive around, see what's opened, and see what we can come up with. Son, they're flooded over here, dude. That is crazy. But we are here at RV World, ain't we? Yeah, RV Camp. No, it's called Camping World. RV Camping World, whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and check out some RVs. Yeah. Do you want to check out some RVs and then probably go inside and see what they got? Yeah, let's just see if we can do that. Maybe they'll open one up for us or whatnot. Look at that. Another F450 or three, dude, 350. They're probably thinking we're here to buy a little camper. Yeah, pulling up with this rig right here. Little do they know. No, sir. <laughs> we're just here to get ideas because this is like the perfect hauler, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Perfect hauler for this type of situation we might as well pick dude, one out i'm nice. actually <laughs> super excited to go in here a lot of people are actually commenting dude go to the uh, camping world or something that's the ideal place to find stuff so. yep so we're gonna go check it out see what we can come up with Dude, man, this is crazy. This is a sick one. Look, it has a, like a lock on it so you can open it and lock it. Look at this mini fridge right here. That ain't mini, that's man. That's, that's massive, dude. But it's like a, one that this is shake proof, you know what I mean? Since we're going to be in like in a, all, all sorts yeah, of terrain. Yeah, bounce around and stuff. And these doors won't swing open, you know what I mean? We're exactly. probably going to have to build like some kind of locks on ours for now. You know, we're just going to see how long that thing lasts, you know pretty what I mean? Pretty much as of right now. We're not going to worry about that. But look at those little mini washers. That is legit, dude. That's pretty sweet. But I think we're going to do the old-fashioned way. Grab a big old bucket yep. and just spin your own clothes, hey, you know? Hey, what if we get one of these things that slides out? You just do That's it pretty on, neat, actually. Like underneath, you like weld that sucker up. Dude. That's pretty neat. But we're looking at a bunch of stuff. There's some nice generators, but how much are those suckers? They're like two to $5,000, dude. So they're insane. We got this chop for now. This, we definitely need this. <laughs> the most important thing, but it's probably the cheapest thing out here. Yeah, and also, also, you know, we got to do what we got to yeah, do. Yeah, and it, and it does say st everybody has to stay six feet back, except, except for me and you. you back know, away, good. man. <laughs> so we're staying our distance, you know, trying to be cautious. But anyways. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. All right, guys, so we just had to stop for a second. There is a freaking Cummins generator. We might just you have think, to- You think that's a Cummins engine in there? I have no idea. Does it run on diesel Dude, or something? I, Look, I remote know. start. Oh, that is sick. Oh, look at the connections right here. So Dude. this stuff can power a lot at once, so we probably, Dang. that's a big, big plug right there. Ain't that like the RV plug where you can plug in your whole entire RV? I think so. So I think we may just go ahead and purchase one of these here real soon. I don't know which one. There's lots of options here. You got the, Hondas. The Honda is probably the most expensive around here because, yeah. wait, I don't know. How There's much another one over there for like five grand, but I yeah. think this would be like perfect size. We're not going to run too much crazy stuff. Maybe a microwave. I wish they had a Caterpillar one, dude. A Ooh. Caterpillar just to match, <laughs> but a Cummins is pretty cool. We're, we're yeah, about a power and stroke. and remote start because we can like put it up in that area over there and just press a button and start this bad boy up. I wonder what it takes. Is it diesel or what? We're going to have to find this stuff out, but we're probably going to walk out with one of these. Definitely. Alrighty guys, so we just purchased some goodies. We loaded it up in the back of the truck. We're gonna show you guys what we got here in a little bit, but they allowed us to go in one of these. Let's see what's going on in Let's here. Let's go dude. check it out, dude. Right here's a little one, you know, it's basically the same size as ours, dude. Dang, check this out. And they got the exact same thing that what I was talking about. This is what we want to do in that corner. But may make it turn into a bed. Yeah, as that's well, what right? this thing does. It pops up and it goes down on these things right wow. here. And it's a bed, dude. 
And this is perfect here. Look at this. We, we need to find something like this. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We got a sink about just like this, but we need, yeah, we need one of these stoves. We'll probably just get one online or something like that. Let me see what's, what's in, in here. There? Whoa! Dang, that's legit. Oh, they even got a shower in there. Toiletry or whatnot, whatever they call it. That's Dude, pretty sick. That's a pretty big bed right there. Like you can sleep comfortably, no problem. Oh yeah, I wonder um, how big this thing is. You know what I this mean? It seems about almost the same size, the width. Yeah, how wide it is, eight foot wide probably, but it's a little bit longer because it's a trailer. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit longer, but dude, we there's some good stuff. Like we can use something like this, you know, a cabinet with that. Put some that. ramen noodles in there, you know, just quick stuff. It's got like a speaker system, it's got outlets, got the HVAC unit right there. Yeah, that's legit, dude. This is like perfect, dude. I know, dude, this is awesome. And you even got a little heater right here, you know? And a, a dishwasher and a fire extinguisher. You got where's it all the, Where's here. the fridge at? Or is this the fridge? Oh, well, that may be the fridge. Yeah, th oh yeah, that's definitely the fridge. You don't really need a dishwasher, I mean. Oh, no. Knock no. that stuff out by hand. <laughs> but this is pretty cool, you know? This is what I really wanted to look at. Get this idea right here and try to replicate it in our rig. So we made it to one of these big boys over here, the Raptor. Look at that. Automatically looks sick. Got the seamless windows. Dude, on. check this out, oh, dude. Oh my goodness. Let me get back here. This is sick. Look at this. This is basically a, what's it called? A garage because look at this. It's on chains. It'll go all the way up and you can pull your four-wheeler RZR in here. That is pretty wicked, dude. Dude, let's go in the inside. Dang, son. This thing is sick. This thing is built right here dude, imagine dude, this ain't even camping at this point what this is, is living man you're talking about mansion this is legit hey, new invention mobile mansions mobile mansion right here got a nice flat screen hey that's a new name of an rv business right there mobile mansions mobile ma dude don't tell nobody that <laughs> might as well might as well you know go out there and start you some mobile mansions right there what's over here dude, dude? you got a Oh my goodness, that is sweet. Look at that. I know the fireplace and stuff. Got a TV fireplace. It's tall in here. It's dude, like it's all wired for solar and everything, dude. Dang, what's in here? We got a bathroom or something? Dang, that's a sick master bedroom. It's legit in here, dude. Oh, let me see the bed. Let me see the bedroom, dude. That's that's huge. Nice shower in here, man. Let's get out of here before I get tempted. Well, <laughs> exactly what you said. Let, let me take. A, let me show them this shower here, right quick. Got a nice toilet. But yeah, let's go ahead. Or you want to check out one more, maybe? I want to check out the actual driving RVs. Let's go. Know. Let's go check out the biggest one they got. Yeah, let's do it, dude. So you just seen us Lysol everything and we are back and this is all the stuff that we got We also got a power cord right here These are the RV slash camper power cords that you can plug in whenever you go to a campsite And they actually have like those plugins to power up your whole entire unit And also this is the exact same power cord that actually plugs up into this generator That way if we do fire this bad boy up we can run this whole entire unit and our plan is to actually Where's that one little piece? Oh yeah, I took it in there. As you can tell, we bought this little plug-in, the exact same plug-in, and we want to actually open this up and see if we can route all these wires to this exact plug-in and just have it sticking out there, you know what I mean? So if you do run, like I said, campsite, plug it in, you got full power, and we haven't used this thing, so hopefully this thing actually fires up all of our power outlets, that way we don't have to run anything
everything. And on top of that, we do have, uh, you know, these wires that we took off. So probably, hopefully run our brand new LED lights. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Try to get this thing hanging out there in our generator. What do you think we should place that thing? Um, it's, I've been thinking right there, it's the perfect spot for it. A lot of people were saying, some people were saying not to do it there, but I don't know, why not? It'll be the best for us because there's already strong connections, nice metal like plates over there. That you and the generator that we bought is pretty dang quiet. Yeah, so. super quiet, very good on like exhaust, you know, diffusion, you know. That's Emissions actually, or whatnot. Yeah, it has but, some nice exhaust pipes on there. <laughs> exhaust pipe. <laughs> but yeah, definitely we're still gonna fire it up before we decide. We're gonna see how it sounds, how it operates and all that good stuff and then we'll decide. And, it, and it's remote start. So if it's right here and you're in here and you really need to, you know, cut it on to use an oven or anything else, you just cut that bad boy on and it'll fire right up. And on top of that, we are planning on running solar panels. So if we don't really uh, have to fire that thing on to like run our refrigerator, we want that always running. You know yeah, what I exactly. mean? Yeah, exactly. Solar panels will do the trick for that. But yeah. anyways, we still got a lot more stuff out there. You want to go through this? Let's, let's go right? through it real quick. All right, so back over here, we did buy a water pump. This is actually a very nice professional grade one and it has 5.3 GPM, so gallons per minute. That's actually pretty dang good. Ooh. You can run the sink pretty dang, uh, you know. Some, powerful. Yeah, some powerful sink, shower, whatever you want to run. This thing was actually like 220 something dollars. Yeah, quite expensive. Yeah, and then we got our uh, water hose right here. We're going to try to run this. I don't know if we'll exactly use this stuff, but we're trying to run our sink off this and everything That's else. That's just good to have just in case, you know what yeah, I mean? just in case. And also, went ahead and got a bigger jump starter. We do have one of these exactly the same. If that sucker won't start, you definitely need that. Yeah. And what else we got there right there? Oh, this is our power cord. You know, we were done with Oh, yeah, this, we already went know, through that. Power cord, nice grip right there. And like I said, we Lysoled all this stuff. We want this stuff to sit out here, let, let it aerate a little bit because uh, you guys recommended to go there and we went there and that was actually the most dangerous dude. zone we ever been in dude Sk danger zone right there dude there was one employee that was sniffling and whatnot sniffling red face he looked a little bit sweaty and that's like the start of this ain't it like we kind of looked it up to see what what kind of precautions we need to take and they did say stay six feet back we were staying about six ten. double that yeah we didn't really know at first we walked in there everybody looked pretty legit and then one guy started walking around and i was like yo Yo, we got to back away, and we were wearing gloves. We should have wore the mask, but you know what? He didn't cough or sneeze or anything. He was just, you know, could be it could be just a cold. But right now, you got to be super you cautious. Be, and you know? we got to stay safe for, for our family as well, which we're gonna probably stay away from that yes. for them. A couple days away from them, maybe even a week or two, we'll try to wear a mask and just be very cautious, guys. Just stay safe out there. This stuff is actually really dangerous. There's a lot of people that are, you know, they're losing loved ones and stuff like yes, that. And we don't want that to happen. We love you guys. We're trying to give you guys a little bit of precautions. Don't go out. Don't go out in the stores. You know we. <laughs> Did. we're just trying to get some content out but i think we're just going to stay away from now and if we do full paint suit full mask paint suit. everything <laughs> freaking apocalypse suit yeah. but anyways what's the very first thing that we want to do crack this sucker open yeah let's go ahead and crack this sucker open and see what it's about Maybe if you plug some stuff in, it does get louder to generate more power, but that's pretty sweet. It's super silent. I think it'll actually be perfect for up there, don't perfect you think? Perfect area, dude. The, the way it sounds, super quiet, and I think it's like the perfect size for that area. Exactly. Pretty dang small, and it has emissions control, so I don't think any exhaust will get in there because it's all on the outside. And also, check out this little display area right here. Got your data center, your fuel meter, you dude. got your output. Dude, this thing is legit. And it got like an eco mode. What is that sucker right there, dude? I, I bet it's going to run a lot quieter, probably turns the RPM a little bit down, but that's that main little plug that we got right there. We're actually gonna run probably on the outside right dude, there, a little socket. let's go and actually wire that fuse box up, see if it'll power that thing up, dude. Let's see if we, it'll actually power up this whole entire box, all the lights and all the sockets. So let's just go ahead and get to wiring. All right, guys, so after fooling with this panel right here for a little bit, we finally figured something out. And we got some power to some of these sockets, not all of them, but check this out. Dude, that's some high power to power that right there, which is crazy. We also plugged in the mini fridge, so that sucker is getting nice and cold. Might throw some drinks in there here in a little bit. We got that socket working. Some of them are not working because this is such a weird panel, right? 
Yeah, dude, this panel right here is made for some weird kind of electricity. I don't understand it. I know the normal uh, panels that you have like at your house, we, yeah. we, we brought one out right there. This one right here is weird because only the center ones that go to the back of that black plastic. Should is, I touch that right there? Yeah, that's, <laughs> it, that's the negative, you know. Both of those big things are negatives. I'm, you know, we're not electricians. We're, we're definitely not electricians, but you know what? We are lighting some things up here. So let's just go ahead, install these lights and try to figure this completely out. So we finally got our lights wired up and working all on the flip of a switch. Check this out right here. That is what I'm talking about. As for that breaker box or fuse box, we didn't figure it out 100% because some of our outlets are still not working as well as our fan. We can't figure it out just yet. We're going to do a little bit more digging, a little bit more research just to figure that out. But as you can probably hear, we are running off the generator currently and the generator will be our last resort because we are doing a solar panel system on the top of this thing. And we're gonna probably place our batteries right here. And that's gonna be the next thing that we're gonna do is actually build the lounge area. That way we can cover those batteries up. And also we're gonna just kind of distribute the weight evenly. So we're gonna show you guys that solar panel system actually tomorrow in the morning. All right, so it is the next day here. and We are on top of the apocalypse rig here with some solar panels. And as you can tell, we only got four boxes, which is four solar panels. We do got a lot more, but we just don't know how much we're gonna use just yet. Right now, what we're trying to do is actually just do a layout of how this stuff is gonna be without taking up all this space, because we might wanna get up here later and just do a little bit of chilling or whatnot. But anyways, let's just go ahead and crack these suckers open, lay them out, and then we'll show you guys the rest of the components. All right, so we did a few layouts that way we can see how much space we have up here and honestly how much solar panels we can run. And we're thinking about running about eight of them. I don't know if that'll be enough to charge up like six to five batteries, who knows? We don't even know how much power these suckers produce, either five or 10 horsepower. I don't know, we're just gonna have to do our research there. But what do you think about this layout right here? I think it's a perfect layout because we, if we want to, we can walk straight through the middle. If we add uh, four more right here, probably do eight panels total i think that should produce plenty of power yeah, i'm not if, if we have to we can add more later on but I, like i said i don't know how much power these suckers produce i know there's probably watts, probably like i don't know i don't i'm gonna guess like 1500 watts that's just a wild guess right there hopefully dude. this thing can actually i mean i think this thing can charge up about six batteries right yeah so that's exactly what this system does it charges like a, a couple batteries and then from the batteries it goes into an inverter or converter i don't know which one You're that is smarter than me about <laughs> that stuff you see i don't know but we do have the whole entire kit we're just gonna have to to go through all that stuff and honestly just see what else we need for this kid. All right guys, so we just opened all this stuff up and we went through everything and we're just learning so much already. Right off the bat, this is gonna be our charge controller which grabs power from the solar panels and sends it to the battery charging them up. We got a Bluetooth controller, that way we can just get an app and see how much battery power we have and how this system is actually functioning. And it will warn you if you got like something wrong with this. So that's a good thing to have. We got two of these, that way we can run probably like four batteries or something like that, which is a good thing because off of one battery, they say that you can run their refrigerator 24 seven. Which off of two solar panels too right yeah off of just two solar panels which we're planning on running eight, like, of, eight of them that's gonna be crazy dude. but we need that because we're gonna be running all led lights refrigerator even uh i don't know the water stove. pump stove anything you know we can run a bunch of stuff once we get this all set up right we got fuses to the battery that way we don't blow anything up and a bunch of uh like these are like solar panel fuses so we're we're good on fuses we're good on wires we got about 20 foot of this stuff that we can run it from the outside to the inside and we even found an old inverter dude this thing still works right yes sir it should work and this is a pretty decent one these th these things are pretty expensive but we're definitely gonna buy like a super nice one this is an 800 watts uh, continuous to uh 1600 watts 1600 watts peak so that 
that'll power that refrigerator no problem. And each solar panel is like 100 watts. So if we're running eight of them, that's 800 watts, right? So this is DC to AC. So this should be perfect that right actually here. Actually, might just be the perfect thing. But one thing that we're lacking is actually batteries. What kind of batteries can I we use? I think we should just grab like some marine grade batteries that, you know, the big batteries, because we need something that this can actually screw onto because you're not screwing this onto no car batteries. And they recommend a certain wattage and I'm sure we can find it. So what do you say? Run to the local store and see if we can grab some batteries. Let's do it. All right, so we're here at the AutoZone and we found two deep cycle batteries. We actually called a solar panel place here nearby. And they said these should work perfectly fine with our system. Now let's go ahead and head back home and see if we can set this thing up. All right guys, so we finally got our solar system set up and check this out, we had to go buy a bigger inverter because I think this one is bad, wouldn't work, but everything is working. This system is actually pretty dang simple and it's running off of just two solar panels, one battery and one massive inverter here and we're powering our mini fridge and it's telling us that it's charging pretty dang good. We got full sunlight out today, which is pretty cool. And I gotta say this system was actually super simple to set up and we're gonna have consistent power through the day and the night, so that's pretty epic. But I can't wait to actually set up the whole entire solar, all the solar panels really, and more batteries probably, and just have everything running off of solar panels. But with that being said, that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. We got so much more to do, but make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram. And also guys, if you want to help support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and copy one of these brand new t-shirts. These are our brand new Apocalypse camo shirts. These are very limited. So if you want you one of these, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and copy one. So with all that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.